Hey, Cam. So after being committed for like three years, what was it like to actually finally get here, be part of it, be doing tour of duty, be all engrossed? Just to be able to get here had been a blessing. Um, being committed three years, it showed me that I had a lot of trust in the coaching staff and they had a lot of trust in me. So being able to come and just work and put in, put in the work with, those, with the guys that's here, it was truly a blessing to me. Seen so many workouts you know, while visiting, now that you're partaking in them, being part of it, any surprises or anything standing out to you? So far, the, the workouts, they're, they're doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good in them. Um, seeing them, I thought they would be a lot easier than what they were. But getting here, being able to participate and go through the tour of duties and stuff like that, it's been a, it's been a real challenge. We have a second row on your left. Does it feel different at all just to be when you're in campus, you're going to class now, you're getting to do all like how does it feel to actually finally be, you know, part of the Florida State family now that you've been through the process for so long? Being a part of the Florida State family, it feels good. It's something a little bit different to me because of uh, not being in classes during high school. So I, I had to kind of adjust, fix my schedules a little bit, set timers and alarms. So just going through that process again, it kind of brought a new aspect to my life. Kim, I know you've answered this a hundred times before, but why was loyalty such an important part of your recruitment? Why did you say, why did you commit so early and never look anywhere else? I committed so early because the coaching staff was always true and they always kept it real with me. Um, Coach Yat, Coach Norvell, they weren't always pitching the the sentence of you'll start when you get here. They always told me I would be developed. They told me that. Florida State was a place where we, it was all about going to get to the next level. So being able to grow as an athlete, a student, and just a, a man in general, that was something that I wanted from a, a coaching staff and a program. Come second row to your right, Briar. Did um, getting to play quarterback in high school, do you think that helped you as a running back in any way, and, and how so? Playing quarterback, it helped me a lot. It helped me with my field, my field awareness, um, IQ of the game, and also just being able to help the line out. Knowing what, knowing the line assignments, everyone assignment on the field, it, it'll help me at running back. Just because I know when, what blocks to pick up, uh, what uh, what the line have, and also just the quarterback assignment. So if I can know the quarterback reads and progression, then it'll also help me knowing where the linebacker flow and how the, the safety and stuff are flowing. You're obviously a big dude, um, but you also can run. What's more fun? Is it more fun running somebody over? Or is it more fun than juking somebody, running by them? Or? Uh, it, to be honest, it's, it's more fun just getting the end zone. But uh, I would probably say probably juking someone um, on the field. I laugh a lot when I run. So just just being able to laugh while I'm running and then juking somebody, like laughing at them mid-play, I think that's that's pretty fun. I know you're focused on just learning the playbook and, and working out, but are there initial conversations about kind of how you hope to be used or how you think you could be at best used your, your first year at Florida State? Uh, right now, the, it, the conversation is more just get it, getting the work in and, and progressing. Um, Coach Yak, there is no conversations about who's going to start, who's going to play the most, nothing like that. He just want, wants all the running backs and the whole team to just be able to, to get the work in, be able to succeed, and just feed off each other. Go back to Jordan, third on your left. Cam, kind of following up on what Ida said, where does the love for working out come from, and when did you start getting in the weight room? I started getting in the weight room, honestly, my ninth or tenth grade year. Um, I was in the weight room before that, but it, was, it wasn't about lifting weights or anything like that. I was working on more cardio and just muscle endurance. Um, I was doing a lot of lunges, push-ups, that, that was really about it. But 9th, 10th grade, yeah, I got in the weight room with my uncle. We started building the uh, muscle mass, velocity, and stuff like that. So that was when I first got in the weight room. Come back to Essen, second row your left. Obviously, you've been around LT a lot, coming to um, Florida State a lot. But um, what has been like getting to know Roydell Williams and knowing um, Jalen Lucas, who are two new additions in the running back room as well? 
getting to know those guys been a it, it's been the best part about being around being around all of the running backs. Um, just about everybody in the room had a per same personality. Everyone quiet, but some days we can all joke, laugh, and just be big kids. To be honest, and that's something that I always wanted. Uh, coming out of high school, I was kind of the main main character as far as playing all the time. But I was still locked in. But being able to come here and be with those guys, it's been it's been real real blessing. What are some aspects of your game that you want to, to work on to craft here, especially like in the you know, off season and then the spring practice as well? Uh, so far, I've been mainly working on uh, building speed, um, the the workouts and stuff. They a lot of them focus on speed and, and conditioning. So I've been taking that real, taking that real heavy. Um, also been keeping receipts on Twitter. So I seen I seen a lot of people saying that. I didn't have a top end speed, so that's the that's what I'm trying to work forward to. I love keeping the seats on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question will be Logan Robinson from Zoom. What up, Cam? Uh, do you have a goal weight by the end of spring, and what's their game plan from Coach Storms for you? Um, right now, I, I'm trying to get to a good 215, stay there, um, lose some fat, just just build up muscle. That's that's really the main goal for me. Uh, right now I'm at 215, but I want to try and lose uh, lose a, a little bit of the fat that I have. Um, the the plan is really simple: uh, just hitting the, hitting the weight room every day, getting my vitamins, protein, and make sure I'm eating, eating the right way. Come to Kurt front row on your right. Hey Cam, I guess I know he's not joining the program. I guess until until the summer. But what's your relationship with uh, Makai like? And I guess how how are y'all complementary as running backs coming in together? And also, I mean, how do you think both of you can kind of do everything that, that's needed within the offense? Uh, Makai is my guy. Um, he uh, like you say he he's not coming in until the spring. But the way that he worked, the way that he's he's hungry for the to be here, I know that he'll come in and be ready to uh, play and also catch on to everything pretty quick. But um, we don't talk as much as I think we should, but we we're definitely that's definitely my guy, and I know that we can both play play alongside each other. Uh, we both have every tool, every aspect of the game. So just being able to have that one-two punch is something that I'm, I'm looking forward to with Makai. We'll go to Avalon in the back right. You know the movie Rocky, Cam, the boxing movie. Well, wanna, it's I heard of important. it. Yeah. So like I watched that as a kid, like it motivated me. Like I wanted to work out and get big and strong, like Rocky. Didn't didn't work out. Like I'd eat raw eggs and I do push ups. But like, <laughs> like what what motivated you to to want to be so I guess dedicated to the the weightlifting aspect of it? Like were you doing push ups when you were like three years old? And when did you like fall in love with with the workout room? I fell in love with the workout room. When I see my uncle. To be honest, uh, I always said I wanted to be bigger than him. He he's a professional bodybuilder. He does uh, competitions and stuff. So I want to try. And, I don't, I don't want to be as big as him, but I, I want to show him, like, yeah, I can live with you in the weight room. But um, I, it started all when I was little. Uh, my parents, they didn't play games with me, so I was doing the push-ups, the sit-ups every night. Then I got to middle school, and I knew that I had to get big before I got in high school, so I, I took it a lot more serious. Come back to Ira, second round, you right. You and Luke have been kind of, like, tied together during – a lot of your recruitment. When did you first meet him, and, and 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 when did like, how excited were you to have him as part of this class also? Me and Luke met through, uh, through seven on seven, um, maybe ninth 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 grade year. We probably met seven on seven. Um, we played on the same team for about a year and a half. We had a lot of great memories at seven on seven tournament. So that kind of built that connection. And once he committed to Florida State, it got a lot more stronger. Uh, we were always competing during the recruitment process, trying to uh, outplay each other, see who could get the most recruits to commit. So that created a, a strong bond between those two. We'll go back to Chris, front row on your left. Hey, Cam, is baseball still in the plans in 2025? Yes, sir. I, I definitely want to play uh, two sports. Um, like I always say, I just I'm just not trying to mi minimize my potential and the opportunities that I have in life. Go back to Essen, second row. On that, um, really to baseball, you know, just um, the passing of Mike Martin recently. What was your reaction when you saw that? You know, obviously being a baseball fan, you followed him. So what was that? You know, uh, it it was devastating uh, seeing a guy of. Uh, with, with that kind of personality, being around a program for a long time, and just being a legend in the books, it was it was real devastating to see that 
it happened so quick. Uh, and it, you never know when when it's your moment. So it was just kind of shocking that 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 day it was it was Mike. You seem like a really focused young man. Have you always been that way? And where do you think that comes from? I, I've always been focused, um, determined to get to the next level at every chapter. Um, it comes from my parents, uh, seeing seeing what they go through, seeing where like it, it, where we ended up and stuff like that. It was kind of motivational to me to make sure that I did everything I could do to help the family, help my little brother, and just get to where I wanted to go as well. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.